Easy. The general order issued by Lord Collingwood <clears throat> after the battle. The Almighty God, whose arm is strength, having of his great mercy been pleased to crown the exertion of his majesty's fleet with success in giving them a complete victory over their enemies on the 21st of this month, and that all praise and thanksgiving may be offered up the throne of grace for the great benefits to our country and mankind. I have thought proper that a day shall be appointed of general humiliation before God, and thanksgiving for this his merciful goodness, imploring forgiveness of our sins, a continuation of his divine mercy, and his constant aid to us in the defence of our country's liberties and laws, without which the utmost efforts of man are naught, and direct, therefore, that a day shall be appointed for this holy purpose. Given on board Euryalus, off Cape Trafalgar, 22nd of October, 1805. The bidding. We are also met together to give thanks for the life of Horatio, Lord Nelson, for his devotion to duty, his steadfastness in adversity, his humaneness in a cruel age, and for the example as a fighting sea commander he is set to succeeding generations. We have these qualities revealed in his personal prayer on the eve of battle, which will now be read. May the great God, whom I worship, grant to my country, and for the benefit of Europe in general, a great and glorious victory, and may no misconduct in any one tarnish it, and may humanity after victory be the predominant feature in the British fleet. For myself individually, I commit my life to him who made me, and may his blessing light upon my endeavours for serving my country faithfully. To him I resign myself and the just cause which is entrusted to me to defend. Amen, Amen, Amen. The Thanksgiving. O Almighty God, the Sovereign Commander of all the world, in whose hand is power and might, which none is able to withstand, we bless and magnify thy great and glorious name for the victory of Trafalgar and all thy several blessings upon the fleets which have served our native land, the whole glory whereof we do ascribe to thee. Give us grace to improve these great mercies to thy glory, the advancement of the gospel, the honour of our sovereign, and as much as lieth to the good of all mankind. And we beseech thee to give us a sense of these mercies as may engage us to a true thankfulness, such as may appear in our lives by a humble, holy, and obedient walking before thee all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We bless thy holy name, O God, for all thy servants who, having finished their course, do now rest from their labours, especially on this day, Horatio Nelson. Give us grace, we beseech thee, to follow the example of their steadfastness and faithfulness to thy honour and glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. 
O eternal Lord God, who alone spreadest out the heavens and rulest the raging of the sea, who has compassed the waters with bounds until day and night come to an end, be pleased to receive into thy almighty and most gracious protection the persons of us, thy servants, and the fleet in which we serve. Preserve us from the dangers of the sea and of the air, and from the violence of the enemy, that we may be a safeguard unto our most gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth and her dominions, the securities for such as pass in the seas upon their lawful occasions, <coughs> that the inhabitants of our islands and commonwealth may in peace and quietness serve thee our God, that we may return in safety to enjoy the blessings of the land with the fruits of our labors, with a thankful remembrance of thy mercies, to praise and glorify thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Today. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit <coughs> be upon you and those for whom we pray this day and forevermore.
Republican Party dismiss.